In short, the break before the final battle of the tournament had come at a bad time. Apparently done with complaining for the moment, Beverly switched her attention to talking about our opponents in the final. An Agya, a Raptorian, and a Voltron. A killer combination. And according to the arena's battle stats, they have a top-tier set of equipment, she announced in a grave voice. Based on those same stats, a team of three humans loses almost every time, I replied wearily. But we haven't lost in 15 fights, and we've made it to the final. But all three of them are level 5, with the best equipment and killer guns, Beverly exclaimed, almost in tears. And you and Chrissy are both level zeros. We don't stand a chance against the Supremos. I turned to Chrissy. She winked at me and grinned. The day before, when the odds in regular bouts had been close to zero, Beverly had been much calmer. Sure, she'd complained at us, but she hadn't been panicking like she was now. But now that the rewards, big even for her, were so close, just one last victory away, she was freaking out. And yet Chrissy and I were calm. We didn't know what the awards for second place would be, but we already had a rough idea of what prize money we could expect. It would be more than enough to pay the mind for the coordinates to which the Yuyai starship had made its leap with our friends aboard. And maybe if we sold some of our prizes too, we would have enough to charter a ship to get us there. Besides, even if we didn't have enough, tournaments were held every day. A winner was no longer allowed to compete in the same tournament in the same season, but there was no such restriction on the losing teams. If I don't repay my debt to Reptorian to Kang Julan today, I'm screwed, Beverly admitted after a long pause. I know you think that's just my problem, but the truth is that it's now your problem too. I was incredulous and said nothing for several seconds, trying to process that information. Finally, though, I couldn't hold back any longer, and I barked, What? What did you say? I went to see them yesterday. Right after we separated, I promised them I'd pay back the principal debt, and if I could, the interest too. If I can't, I'll have to give them everything I own, and then they'll send me off to mine Nautilium and work off my debt until the day I die. That day will come soon, too. People in those mines die quickly, even with a universal metabolism mod and high adaptability. It's an evil substance, Nultilium. But what does that have to do with us? Chrissy snorted. Officially, nothing. But you don't know, Tukang. They've been on the Cytus Supreme Council for years. They have everything sewn up, understand? This is not some primitive Yu Yai. Tukang Julan has one of the most powerful great houses of Sarasuru backing them up, and they aren't afraid of anything. They're aware that we're on the same team, and Raptorians believe that team battles in the arena form bonds stronger than family ties.